Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you back to another episode of Veteran Hardcore Adventures with your best buddy, Mr. Kluger. We are level 34 here with our totem-focused slash pet-focused... Uh, what's the character class? Conjurer, which is Shaman and Occultist, as you can see. I've got my buddy Hellhound over there and Raven. And Briarthorn, and Ra uh, Hellhound Man keeps stepping in the thingamabob, but he's not getting hurt, so that's okay. So, hope everyone is well and good and having a fantastic day. Here we are, level 34. Yes, a I spent some time live streaming this character over on well, on my YouTube channel. I've been trying out the YouTube stream, which is a very cool thing, I have to be saying. So I'm going to be trying that out for the foreseeable future. Uh, link here on screen as we speak um, to check out the video, uh, because YouTube streaming is cool and gives you a video after you have made the stream go live and you did it and things. I'm speaking really well today, as you can plainly hear. Uh, yeah, so go over there if you want to watch the stream, um, and I'll be hopefully doing further streams of this character as well um, in the times to come, so keep an eye out for that as well, on YouTube of course. That being aside, level 34, now, how have we progressed? Uh, first we'll have a look at Occultist, since we're here, the main changes here is that I have incorporated Curse of Frailty and Vulnerability into the build. Um, I've only put one point into Curse of Frailty for now, and I'm just getting a boost off one of my items. Um, I'm, at least for now, mostly wanting to focus on Vulnerability because of its debuff to Vitality, uh, debuff to enemies of uh, Vitality Resistance, uh, because our, almost our exclusive damage source coming from us is Vitality Damage, and so that's a very big interest to us. So the playstyle is a little bit different to where, you know, I'm slamming down totems and spamming the crap out of Curse of Frailty to try and get the full effect of that. Probably crank a few more points into it. Uh, one point into Hellhound for now. Um, again, I will probably try to get more points into him as we go. And Raven, I don't know if it was, this was last episode, but I have got his Mend Flesh at one point for the time being. Over to the Shaman Mastery. Uh, it's more or less the same. Just trying to crank points into the totems as much as we can. I'm up to 9 points in Storm Totem, 4 points in Wendigo, and 3 points into the Blood Pact. I want to get, I probably want to max Storm Totem and get Wendigo Totem to a decent level. Uh, what I'm battling with at the moment is just where to balance out the points, because I do want to have fun with the pets and, and keep them uh, a major part of this build. So I want to put a lot of points into Brightland, but I want to put some decent points into Hellhound as well. And <laughs> it's just whether I'll have enough points to do all of that. I think if I primarily stay focused on uh, the totems, we'll be in pretty good shape. And uh, we'll take it from there. I also want to put more points in the Primal Bond. So we are starting to lean more in a pet-ish direction. But they, they're both dealing really nice damage, so um, good times all around. Um, one other thing I'm battling with, and maybe you guys can leave your thoughts below on this matter, is Devouring Swarm. Uh, if you guys have any experience with it, I'm finding it useful-ish. It doesn't do massive amounts of damage. I'm hoping with Curse of Frailty it'll be more useful. Uh, it's not it's not doing super awesome good, but it's doing it's doing not bad. So um, just that's that's up in the air for the time being. Character sheet wise, we're uh, not hugely different again. It's trying to stay focused on the armor rating to a greater extent, as I've been mentioning. It's currently at 240. Our offensive and defensive abilities okay. Um, we're kind of hanging in there. Uh, the defensive ability in particular is not too bad at, at the present time. Um, still been doing one-to-one -one, uh, investment into physique. Pardon me, physique and spirit. Um, oh, gear-wise, uh, besides that, not much else to mention. Sort of just switching up to higher armor ratings where I can, uh, provided the bonuses aren't completely crap. <laughs> Uh, I got this cool weapon that I crafted, not uh, in this session in fact, uh, Occultist's Scepter of Bestial Rage, which is giving us vitality damage, it's giving us uh, plus one to Curse of Frailty, it's giving us uh, bonus uh, damage and attack speed to our pets. And one thing that occurred to me, I don't know why this wasn't a thing to me before, but Hollowed Fangs! Hollowed, hollowed Fangs give 18% vitality damage. So I've got one there, and I've got one on my book here, which is giving me 63% vitality damage as well. They're giving us attack damage converted to health. They are giving us... Uh, well, that's the main thing. They give us Blood Drinker, which I haven't used much recently. And this one over here also got an additional 5% vitality bonus as a completion. 
which puts our total vitality damage up to 178% at the moment, which is not too shabby if I do say so myself. So yes, there we go. All the words from Kluger are out. Um, let's go for a bit of a run. So I'll show you what I mean. So there we go, just get all the totems down, spam in Curse of Frailty, and then I just hit people up with, uh, with what's this skill called again? Uh, Devouring Swarm. So I want to try it. If I hit this guy and then boom, boom. It doesn't do masses of damage. There's a lot more damage is coming from the totems. But it's it's handy, I suppose. Like I was saying. Um, it's not much else to mention, I, I guess. I mean, the, the playstyle is, is pretty pretty well rinse and repeat. Um, you know, I've got the... the Whoa, a bit of a lag spike there. That's not cool. Um, I've got the Hellhound and Brythorn on aggressive and Raven set to defensive. So, basically, the two uh, offensive pets just go and, and smash whatever they can find. I've, I'm mostly trying to just use Raven for the purposes of, of healing and uh, keeping us... Play, playing the support role, basically, and we thank him for it, of course. Um, I've also got the uh, summon... What's this dude called? The Ancient Spirit of something? Punk Primal Spirit. Pardon me, I'm silly. Uh, which I'm mostly using when a hero monster or a very large pack of mobs rocks up. Just for the extra, uh, extra backup, I guess. Which is very cool. So that brings us up to four pets. I'm using this thing here, Maraband, which gives us 5% chance to summon a Stalwart Guardian when we hit, which brings us up to five pets, potentially. And then I do want to also use the Black Grimoire of Ogna Pesh, which will bring us up to six pets maximum, which is pretty damn cool. We'll have a veritable army chasing us around, plus two totems. So this is kind of like the ultimate... Well, the thing is, it, it sounds like a lazy build in a way, where you think you can just sort of throw these things down and let them do their work, which you kind of can sometimes against like really weak mobs. You can kind of just chuck the totems down and let the pets do the rest. But it's a pretty active, especially once, since we've hit Act 3. It feels pretty active, because you've got to make sure you place your totems correctly. You want to get a second Storm Totem down as quickly as you can. You want to make sure that Curse of Frailty is on as many enemies as you can manage. And you want to make sure your pets are fighting the right things and aren't getting deaded too much. So there's, a, there's actually quite a lot going on. So I'm finding this build really fun because it's a good combination of activity and damage and utility and incorporation of pets. It's a whole bunch of stuff. It's really, really cool. There's a bit to think about, but it's not too daunting. Basically, you should give it a go. It's, it's quite fun. <laughs> so I'm trying to just you know, kill some more stuff for you while I've got you on the camera. I realized in the previous episodes, maybe I haven't done as much killing as I could have. So, trying to give you a bit of that. Uh, something a little different to watch for once, I suppose, rather than me just talking about character sheets. Yay! See, I'll, I'll briefly mention again the YouTube streaming thing. Because that's something I'm really interested in pursuing further. I have been streaming on Twitch previously, which is nice enough. Twitch does a good job. But YouTube's something different, it's something newer. And I'm not really tied down to one or the other. A lot of dudes are still... A lot of the big dudes on, on the interwebs are still streaming on Twitch, but that's probably because they're in contract with Twitch. Whereas I'm not. I'm, I'm free as a bird to do as it, whatever I damn well please. <laughs> so I'm trying out the YouTube thing for something a bit different. So yeah, be, be sure to keep an eye out for when I go live. It'll come up in your sub feed when I'm streaming. And uh, maybe I'll even do scheduled events so you guys know in advance when I will be live streaming. So that's another possibility as well. Because, look, live streaming is super fun, and I talk to you guys and respond to all your questions and comments and all that sort of jazz. It's, it's a good time, so come down for a, for a chill. That'd be very cool and, and awesome and make me feel fuzzy inside. What are you doing? This is really why you guys watch, isn't it? It's to watch me manage my components. Oh, uh, yeah. Cool. Let's keep killing a bit. Um, oh, Blessed Steel. Very nice. One, two... Three, so I'm kind of in a sequence here. I could cast Curse of Frailty first. It would probably make more sense, but it seems to be a null and void in terms of that sequence. It's, it's not really too bothersome. I like to get Wendigo Totem down first a lot of the time because um, it's kind of immediate damage and it kind of sets the stage for where your where your exchange is going to take place with your enemies. That being said, look, it doesn't really matter because you can get you can get Storm Totem down nice and quick. And then you can get another one out nice and quick. You got you got I've currently got a, a summon limit of three. Uh, pardon me, a summon limit of two on that. Uh, oh no, it's a three summon limit now. Hell yeah! Maybe I've just got that because I put it up to nine out of 16 just now. That's badass. So, hang on a sec. 
Um, it's a five second skill recharge and it lives for 12 seconds. So yeah, I could if I could spam the skill quick enough, I could get three out there pretty soon. Oh, well, for, for a short period, but skill cooldown reduction is probably where that's most gonna come into play. But that's really cool. I, I'm gonna just be constantly spamming that now. Let's see if we can pull it off. If I can get around, can I get around this thing or what? Oh, whatever. The well, map's, map's deceiving me. It's a liar. Now I've got to go all the way around there. Okay, we'll go and do that little pocket. Hey, back off. All right, we'll kill these dudes first. One, two, three. Get the curses out there. Keeping an eye on Storm Totem. Come on, baby. There's a, there's a second one. Come on, baby. There's a third one. Oh, yeah. And the first one's going to die any minute. Any second, rather. Pew, 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 pew. Get another Storm Totem, because they're useless back there. The Storm Totems do freaking nice damage, I have to say. Once you get a... Yeah, you get two out there, and they just spam the crap out of everyone. It's awesome. All right, Curse. I missed a lot of dudes with that Curse of Frailty. Because I'm awesome at the game. It's getting hot in here. It's, it's finding up in, in my part of town. Why do I talk about the weather when I'm recording videos? It's a stupid, terrible habit. Like you guys care. You care about the Groom of the Dawn. That's what this is all about. And anyone who tells you otherwise is a liar. Man, I'm rambling. I'm going to call this video soon. <laughs> um, yeah, so the, definitely the live stream thing. I mean, that's probably where you're going to get most of the extended footage of me playing this game from now on. So do check that stuff out. I'll, I'll run, uh, probably Steve and I will, Steven's my, my co-conspirator in YouTube land, will run the remaining act once it comes out. But that's, that's a story for another day. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please do remember to like below if this is something you enjoyed, or leave any comments if you have uh, suggestions or ideas or questions or whatever have you, because that's always an awesome thing. So I hope to see you next time. I've had fun. My name is Kluger, and I'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.